Hey guys, I picked up a new axe from a website called Rare Electric Guitars. Uh, this is a custom build. Um, I went on their site and checked out their artist series and I noticed that they had some Richie Sambora type guitars posted online. Um, I always like star inlays and I'm a huge Richie fan, but I also like generic mutt parts type guitars. So discussing with them online, uh, I told them that I wanted a yellowish canary style paint job. Um, it's much lighter in the in the video because of the fluorescent lighting here but it is a yellow color in real life. And I also wanted them to add a reverse headstock, which they did. So the communication was very good. Um, I had to have the stars because that's the whole purpose of trying to emulate one of these Sambora strats. And they came through pretty much with all of my requests. Uh, online, they said that the guitar would come stock with a Floyd Rose Special, and they were correct. Um, it's brand new, 100% legit, all the markings are there, and uh, it's an excellent trim, and it stays in tune perfectly. I'm not a huge bar guy uh, for dive bombs. I have numerous guitars if you watch my other videos and um, I'll use something different for the dive bombing. The pickup. They claim they're Wilkinson parts. I'm not really sure what they were but before this was even delivered to my house I knew that rear humbucker was coming out and I already had a Seymour Duncan TB4 ready to go and uh, my local guitar repair tech uh, did some work for me and he did a outstanding job to make this play like some of my high-end thousand dollar Charvels, Washburns, Ibanez's. I've played it in two videos so far so you can hear how it sounds and it sounds really good after the work was done fenders to me sometimes are very annoying so i asked the repair tech to change around the knobs what he did is he actually killed the volume knob so right now it's useless here is the volume knob and here is the tone knob the tone knob controls all three pickups and it was a lot easier to be placed that way because my hands hit the Fender volume knob almost always when I play a song. So I wanted that reconfigured. He also had to cut out the pick guard because that stock Wilkinson was rounded and they had two round notches here and that Duncan would not fit so he squared it and it was pretty easy for him to do and it fit like a charm. So as far as the parts that I installed was the new humbucker I added these aged knobs. Um, so far I can't find a switch tip and cream to fit because it's a bizarre cut on the Chinese switch tip. Uh, I also had new pots installed because the pots were probably the cheapest you can get. And that's basically it as far as anything that I wanted done to the actual guitar. Going up the neck, 
I think the stars came out very good. They're not perfect on a two, three thousand dollar Fender Sambora model from the 90s, but that's fine. If you're playing live, nobody's going to inspect how perfectly cut and sharp these stars are, but I think they're very well done. The headstock, I asked them to reverse it, which they did. They cut the profile perfectly. I didn't want any logos because I really like generic style guitars, Frankenstrats, and I'm not the type of person to add a Fender logo when it's not an actual Fender, but I think it looks so much cooler just raw anyway. They put in the truss rod adjustment up at the headstock. Um, originally it was going to be at the end of the neck and it made no sense to me. I'd have to remove the neck to do a fine adjustment. So they answered my request without any hesitation. I'm going to flip it over and show you what I did to the Floyd. I had the Floyd blocked um, because, like I told you, I did not get this trim to do crazy dives. I wanted total sustain and I wanted tuning stability. So it's blocked on both sides. It's completely straight. And so far this guitar has not gotten out of tune. Whereas I'll buy a new guitar with new strings and it'll take a good month before it's always in tune. This guitar for some reason is perfectly in tune. It's probably the setup and that Floyd has nowhere to go now. So that was one of the reasons that I wanted uh, that block put in. It has that skunk stripe in the back for the truss rod. The tuning pegs are generic, but since it's locked, I didn't need to put on Grovers or anything high end because it's got a lock nut system in the neck and they work fine. The neck itself is unfinished. I would say it's extremely similar to the new Charvels where it's just a gun oil. And the profile is a little thicker than the 2016 Charvels. And I really like this profile. I have no idea what it is. They just built the neck and shipped it out. The frets, they appear to be jumbo frets. They didn't need that much polishing and crowning and they're straight. And I had no issues or complaints from the tech when he was finishing uh, the guitar for me. Uh, however, he did say that the last fret was loose and he had to tap it in, and it's perfect. So, if you're on the fence about buying a guitar from Rare Electric, and you know what you want, and you have good communication skills with them, I would recommend ordering it. The price is probably comparable to a good Squire, around $400, but you are not going to get a Squire that's going to look like this and have the configuration 
that you want. You'd have to buy a warmeth neck or you'd have to look for parts online and to me it's not worth it. So I think that everything they did as far as my request sheet was spot on. Um, I don't have much else to say except that uh, I will give them a positive review. However, if you know nothing about guitars, you might have an issue because a young kid playing this out of the box, it's going to need a lot of work to get it going. But once a qualified guitar repair tech knows what he's doing and sets it up the way it should be, you got yourself a great instrument. So let me know if you've ever had an experience that was good or bad with rare electric guitars. Leave a comment below. Check out the videos on my channel of myself playing this along with some other hard rock cover songs. And cheers. Thank you for watching and have a great day.